Alright, how's it going guys? We are back. And today we're going to do a little bit of a revamp of our uh, tech card area here. And start making the green ones. And I have noticed that this thing always has 10 in here. So it can run way faster than what these two can handle. So that's going to be the first thing we look at. Um, so this is two and a half seconds, and it makes five of them. It takes five of them, but that's, so we could technically run ten of these off of one of these. This takes five, and it takes 33 seconds. So, we don't need as many of these as what I've been doing. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of those so it stops doing that. Now, for this one, we need iron gear wheels and electric circuits. For this one, we just need the automation core. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out and... I think we're going to, as soon as this one gets done, give me those. Okay, we'll take that out of there. This one is done, we're going to take it out of here. And we can do this to the near side. We'll pull that back, and we're going to move these over to this side. And we're going to put four of them in there, and set that to the red. Oh, I did that over one too far, didn't I? Um, no. No, I didn't. Um, because I want to put the other line here, so then these need to be there, and then we can just do this, like that, we can set this to our red cards. And then we can have those come out here on the back side. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of that line. Uh, for right now, we're going to get rid of all of that. And we're going to put a second line in right here. And we may have to change this later on. But for right now, I think this is what I'm going to go with. So we can do this, like that, and then I'm going to put up here, four more of them, and we're going to do the green ones on this one. Change that over to a light one. And then we're going to have to run this up to here. And we'll have it go like that. And we need to get iron gears and 
circuit on that line. So what we can do is do it like this. And we can just have these come off and go that way. And I just speed that up. No big deal, we have room. Go like that. There, that'll work. Not quite the way I wanted it to be, but it does the job. That'll put all of them on that side. And we also need to do that so they get out of there a lot faster. Yeah, that'll be fast enough. And we can actually do that so it gets the iron fast enough. Now yeah, that all looks like it'll be fine like that. And that's filling that up all the way. Oh crap, that's iron gear wheels, not iron plates, moron. All right, hold on. Which means I'm actually going to have to do this. And do it the right way, damn it. So it's supposed to be like that. And we're not going to need that one anymore. And then this can come up and go there. And now I just got to get all of the iron cleared off of here, which is going to make a mess of my inventory. But I can fix it. There. That'll take care of that. And then we can extend this up over and oops, one more, there, that'll take care of that. Let's go ahead and dump the rest of those in there and then we want to do this. And we want to tell this near side. Change that for all of those. And there we go. That should take care of that. So now when these slow buggers get done moving, we will have our green tech cards and hopefully that's fast enough to keep these eight moving. If it's not, I left a little room, we can add a few more up there. And we can always take this loop out and move it up more if we need to. But that definitely looks like one batch is going to take care of starting all eight and then leave us a few extra. So just a matter of if we can get another batch out, not quite. But we still have a few left over here. So as it runs, it'll catch up. So it shouldn't be bad. After it, you know gets through the initial little bit. Because yeah, look at all those we have left over this time. So, oops. As we keep going, we'll keep getting more. 
and that'll back up just fine. Alright, so our military's done. So now we can make an anti-material rifle. And we're going to have to do the pencil rounds, which is steel and rifle magazine. I'm not real worried about the grenades at the moment. I only really use those when I need them for uh, military. I'm not good at using them. Uh, so this is the armor piercing. Um, what is the time on those? Armor piercing is three seconds. The regular is one second. So we could do three of these off of one of those, basically. And then the anti material is the same stuff. So if I move this up like that, um, take that out. Well, no, actually, let's do this. We'll put three of these in here. We'll do that. And we can put that in like that. And the small belts. And we'll do that. Now that can feed into there. I can dump all of these that I have in there. And then we just need to get steel in here for them. And I'm actually going to run the steel. Oh crap. Steel comes up here. Okay, we're going to run that up like that. And that'll take care of that. Now, where are we going to output this? Thing? Uh, we'll do the Anti material rifle there. So we're going to need to run that that way. And then I'm going to do something whack. I think. Just to be different. Put that there, and I think we can put that there. We need that there, that there, and then we can do this here. There, that should work. And then we can put that one there. Limit this down to one, because I should never need... Wait a minute, how did that get a... Yeah, I should never need more than one stack of those. And then this one will limit down to... We'll say four stacks of those for 
our turrets. And that should work. And now, I can go ahead and make me an anti-material rifle. And grab my bullets. Because these are really slow crafting, but we don't need a lot of them. This thing is awesome. Okay, so now that we have that done, um... Logistics 2 would be really nice. So would the automation tool. That one's 40. That one's 200. That one's 150. I'm going to go ahead and get this one done real quick. Since it's so quick to get done. We also need to get that done. There's so many nice things in this one we need to get done. Right. Those there. Good thing I don't have to ever craft this thing again. Holy crap, just crafting the gun is slow. And I need to get this pistol out of there. I have no reason to have it on me anymore. Now, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Let's go pick on these guys. I'll be right back when I get over there. Alright, two things by the time I got over here. A, it's become nighttime, so it is going to be a bit dark for this. I guess it's technically three things. I did forget to grab the piercing rounds for this, but since we're using or fighting the little guys, it's really not going to be a problem. Alright, so we we'll switch to that and get that out of our way. And now we can just go worm hunting with them sniped all out of there. Piss off all the biters and then let our turrets deal with them. I'm going to have to get rid of this one nest. There we go, he's dead. Now, the only one we got left is that one. I'm on Turks. These biters dead. Now we'll just move these two up here. And then we put another one right here. And let him start eating. And can I get... No, can't get through that one. So we'll shoot our way through. There we go, worms are dead. So now we can just plop this right here. Give it some rifle rounds and let it eat. And the other one will guard its ass while I go and pick up the other turrets. There we go. All done. I see why I love that anti material rifle. That thing is badass. And it doesn't do too bad on nests either. I just mainly like it for hunting worms. And it's accurate as shit. It'll blow right through a tree, right through a rock. It is quite nice. Alright, so that's going to be it for today. Looks like we're pretty clear on biters all around. Um, the other thing was the 
uh, thing we're working on. Automation 2 got done on our walk over here. So I did go ahead and start the sulfur one. And, well, it's a third of the way done already. So we'll have it done soon. And we can start on explosives. So we can then get to the cliff explosive so we can get rid of those cliffs at the end of our main walkway there, our main bus line there. And in the next one, I'll go ahead and start automating up the um, automation to the tier 2 crafting assembly machines. It works. They're so hard. But, you know, I played this game how many times? I still can't remember the name of the assembly machine. Horrible. <coughs> but I will start crafting those up in the next one. And, uh, see which ones we actually need to use them for. And get that all taken care of and probably get started on making sulfur and its explosives, I would guess, in the next one. Because it looks like it's going to get done pretty quick, depending on how long it takes for the explosives, because this one's 150, that one's only 100. Um, this one's times 30, this one's only 15. So this should get done rather quick compared, and look at how much of those cards we have. So, yeah, like I said, now, granted, this one's a times 30, not a times 15, but this definitely should be a decent amount here to have, and the red ones, you know, it's still using up on that line, so... Uh, those are understandable if they're backed up. But, yeah, our, we still have plenty of those sitting there as well. So, that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.